hi everyone welcome back again to my channel in today's video i want to share with you how you can download and install the ndi obs plugin for your pc what ndi does is that it gives your system the ability to connect to other systems that are on the same local network now if you have like a particular system that houses your easy worship maybe while you are live streaming in church and then on another system you have your obs or like vmix what ndi does is that it gives the boot system the opportunity for them to connect or move data like moving the output of any particular software into the order without having to make use of any physical code now for the sake of this tutorial we are talking about obs and for that reason we will need two plugins the number one plugin is the NDI plugin, which must be installed on your system. And then the second one is going to be an OBS NDI plugin. What this means is that if you launch your OBS and you do not have the NDI OBS plugin in that system, despite the fact that you already have the normal NDI, you won't be able to have this feature. So follow along with this tutorial and let me show you how to set it up on your system just come over and search for the obs ndi plugin and also take notes uh, i'm going to be saving a lot of time with this tutorial so you don't have to bother much what you just need to do check the the link in the description i'm going to be leaving two links there one is going to be of the ndi and then the other is going to be the ndi obs just go ahead and install it but if you still want to do it by yourself by downloading this is where you come over here where it says obs ndi new tech ndi so once you click on it you will be met with this interface then you come down here if you want to download let's say the obs application that is if you don't have it you can click on the download here and start downloading then right here where it says obs ndi you just come here and click on go to download so this is where it's going to bring you to the part where you will see the particular plugin and also take note that whenever there is an upgrade in your obs like what i'm using currently is the obs 30 whenever there is an upgrade then you will also need to download the upgraded uh, obs ndi for it to work if not you will not have that future there so what you just do you come down here if you are using a macbook you can see the one that says mac os universal but for the sake of this tutorial what we we have windows which is what we are using here so you can click on this window and download it so i already have it so i won't be going ahead doing anything further right here you have the obs ndi just you can just run it on your system and you'll be good then also try as much as possible to run the ndi this is the one i have here which is the uh the updated one ndi 5 run the both of them if you launch obs and then you find out that the ndi source is not enabled what you simply need to do is to close the obs and relaunch it come back here and then click on the ndi source once that comes up you see this particular place where it says ndi source just give it any name of your choice or you can choose to leave it whichever way you want then say okay for you to be able to locate the one that you wish to use anyway i'll be using vmix i'll be bringing in my vmix which is a totally different um, video mixing software in here so here on the source name you click here on this drop down arrow once you click on the drop down arrow you are going to see it my vmix is opened in this same system so i just click on it and then as you can see the information that i already have displayed on my vmix this is it click ok and then it brings it into your display panel i can choose to make it full screen and that is that these are worthy of notes that you must have the ndi plugin installed on that system before going for the ndi obs plugin 
if the both of them are not there, this future will not work. And you must make sure that all the systems that you'll be connecting are all tied down to one network and they must all have the NDI installed. If you don't have it installed on any of the system, you are not going to have this feature enabled for you. So that being said, that is where we'll come to the end of this video on how you can download and install the NDI OBS plugin for your PC. Please, if you found this video helpful, encourage us by smashing the subscribe button like the video drop your comment in the comment section and if you also have any thought opinion that you'd like to share or something you'd like me to help you out with don't forget to use the comment section and follow us across all our social media platforms for more content like this help share this video so that it can reach out to people that may find this video helpful till i see you again do have a pleasant day